Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Now you remember last episode, we managed to track down the elusive potato. We stole some potatoes from some cheeky villagers, but it was okay, because I'm sure they won't miss them too much. And now we've got them back to the farm, but we need some more materials and some more minerals to make our potato farm. But to do that, we need to relocate the quarry. But to get the quarry back up and running, we need to look into getting power to it, because at the moment, the redstone conduits go to the brewery. So this episode, we're probably going to be looking into getting our power and shipping it around the farm. So let's dive in and get technical. Okay, now if I'm going to make a potato farm, there's a few things I'm going to need. I think I'll probably need more minerals because I'm slowly running out of materials in the storehouse. But the problem is, I think I dug up all the redstone conduit that went out to the quarry to get it all the way to the brewery. And I don't want to disconnect the, the, uh, the redstone conduit from the brewery. So what I think I might have to do is I might have to confront this old demon and actually make myself some redstone conduit. So I'm going to dig in and see how I can actually do that because I don't think it's going to be too hard. And I do think I've got pretty much the materials that I will need to do it. So let's just take a look. Redstone conduit. No, it's energy conduit, right. Uh, let's see. So there it is. That's the stuff I need, this kind of redstone en energy conduit. It's, 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 like a, it's like a gold build craft power pipe but much more efficient. Okay, so I'll press R on this. And it's made in a liquid transposer. You put molten redstone into energy conduits. Okay, simple enough. So we'll worry about molten redstone a little bit later. First thing first, we're going to get some energy conduits. Right, so electrum ingots are made with aluminium stone, coal, and electrum blend. Okay, that's one way of making it. How else do you make it? You smelt uh, electrum blend into ingots. Okay. So it's pretty much, it's like an ore. Electrum blend is like an ore. So how do you get electrum blend? Silver dust and pulverized gold. Or gold dust and silver dust. Well, okay, let's go and see how much gold and silver dust I have. And also I can deposit some of this extra tools and all these kind of things that I went out and equipped myself with to go and catch the potatoes. Okay, so let's put the, uh, the scoop back, the bow, off you go. Stone axe I'll keep, I'll get rid of the arrows. I'll get rid of these bees as well because I, they're, kind of, they're kind of sucky actually. I've already got better bees. Right, okay, let's see. Metals and fuels, it should all be in here. I've got gold ingots and uh, let's see, silver ingots. There must be some silver around here. Oh yeah, loads of this stuff. So I, do I need these to be dust to make the electrum blend? Let's take a look. Yeah, I do. I need them to be dust to make electrum blend. So let's just look that up. Electrum blend. Right. So, to get Electrum Blend, I need either Dust or Pulverized. So I need to put this stuff through the Pulverizer and, uh, and not through a furnace to make it into more gold. Okay. Now, can I actually Pulverize Bars into Dust? Does that work? Let me check. Yeah, if I put Bars into the Pulverizer, they do come out as Pulverized Gold. Okay, sweet. So, let's go over here to the Pulverizer, I think it is. Now, this isn't hooked up. So I might have to re-hook this up to some power to get this show on the road again. Yeah, as you can see, there's no conduit going through here. So I'm going to need to hook this baby back up to the power. I could get a little bit cheeky and just use a Stirling engine to do some makeshift pulverizing. In fact, I think I'll probably do that. So I need to go and find a Stirling engine and some coal. Okay, let's do it. Right, so I'll put the, uh, the gold in here to start with. I'll pulverize the gold and... Oh, oh wait, there's already power in it. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. So wh where's it going now? Where's 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 this being? Wait, what? What's, what's going on? Where's the dust going? Is the dust being sucked out already? No, it's not. Where's the dust going? Oh, it's going through there. Okay, right now we have to intercept this before it gets to the furnace, which it will do if it's being sucked out of here. Uh, but it doesn't look like any engines are on to suck it out of here. So um. We should be okay. Let's right click and make sure that the dust that's going in here stays in here. Oh no, it's being sucked out again through here. Right, so I'm going to have to break that quick. Whoops, there we go. Now I'll need to turn off this engine. Now there must be a lever down here or a redstone torch somewhere that's powering it. Uh, oh, must be down here. Yep, there it is. And I'll turn this off. Bam. Now this should just keep all the all the pulverized gold in this chest pulverized. Okay, now the uh, the pulverizer will run out of energy sooner or later. Let me go and check how much is actually stored in there. Oh, 
Yeah, as you can see, it's almost pretty much run out of energy after pulverizing about 20 gold. So I'll put some silver in now, because we've probably got enough gold. And I'll plug in this sterling engine. Now, I can probably put the sterling engine just right here, in fact, because it's a redstone energy conduit right there. Right, so let's go and get the gold out of here, the gold, the gold blend. Oh, ne almost Nest Cafe. There we go, 15. Now, again, Electrum Blend is one of each to make two Electrum Blend, which is fantastic. Right, so what else did we need for the Redstone Energy Conduit? Let's take a look. Right, so Electrum Ingots and Hardened Glass. Oh, now, Hardened Glass might be a hard sell. We'll need Pulverized Obsidian. Holy crap. Well, we can Pulverize Obsidian. I should have plenty after I've done the quarrying. But lead ingots, now they might be hard to get. Let's see. But an induction smelter, do I even have that, actually? Or is it even an induction smelter? What is what is an induction smelter? Yeah, I do need an induction smelter. I wonder how you make those. All right, let's get this sucker built. So here we go, one copper, two copper, three copper more. Invar, invar, ingots in there. Bucket, reception machine frame, coil, redstone, fantastic induction smelter. Yep, that's fantastic. Okay, great. All right, so I've got the induction smelter, and I should have enough broken down pulverized obsidian, but it's night time, so I'm going to head back to base, head back to the farmhouse, have a bit of a kip, but tomorrow I should be ready to cook some redstone energy conduits. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, yeah, it's always good to look out at the brewery and see those flags flying high. Now, of course, oh, yeah, we, we were meant to make some biofuel and some biogas over there with the fermented kind of byproducts of making um, making ale. But we never got around to it because, let's be honest, seed oil has been a fine fuel so far. But going forwards, I think when we make our milk facility, we're going to need probably a fair bit of power for that. So going forwards, maybe we will need some more power and it will be worthwhile to make some biogas over there. But for the time being, our brewery is set to making beer, because that's what we're going to need for the shindig. Lots and lots of rich, stindy ale. Okay. Okay, yeah, that obsidian's being chugged away. Now, it's taking a while, actually, to pulverize obsidian. But that's to be expected, because obsidian is tough stuff. So let's see how much has been done so far. 12, which is okay. Got some more silver in there as well, which is handy. Right, so let's put down this... Induction smelter. Now this is the kind this is the uh, the tool shed. So I want to keep it in here and I might just put it over on the edge here. And we do have a spare. Oh, where am I gonna put it actually? I think here, here will do. Now we do have a spare what do you call it? Sterling engine, so I can hook that up as well over here to the smelter. But what am I gonna put in here? It was pulverized obsidian on the left, I think. And something on the right, but I've forgotten. What was it? Okay, so that's the pulverized obsidian, and that is the lead ingot. Now we'll need a sterling engine underneath. And let's see, which output is going to chug this out? It's going to come out the red, I think, so I can just take it out of this side. Now it's just going to turn on. Yeah, it is. Okay, great. The sterling engine is on, so we can get induction smelting. Okay. Meanwhile, let's see, any more pulverized obsidian? Yeah, that's still pulverizing away. Now we will need a lot of pulverized obsidian, so it's good that we're keeping on doing this. Come on. Oh, yeah, this is the ticket. Right. We're almost there, guys. So, Electrum Ingots as well. Now, how do you make Electrum Ingots? That is done with just a normal smelter. Okay, so we can we can put Electrum Blend into the, the powered furnace here. Great. But how do you make Electrum Blend? Oh, right, that's right. It's just gold and silver inside a crafting bench. To make Electrum Blend, and I can do that right in my pocket right now. Okay, so 30 of that should see us okay for a while. Now I'll just plonk you in there, then there's enough power for that to chug out. But if it runs out of power, which it will do, we can just bring the Sterling Engine over from the induction, from the pulverizer, which is almost done, and put it underneath the uh, electric furnace. Okay. Oh! Oh! Someone's taking pot shots at me! Oh man, look at that crafty skeleton. Okay, he's hiding underneath there. Thinks that'll save him from the daylight? Well, it will, but it won't save him from me! All right, eat crap, scum. Oh, yeah. Right, back to farming. Now, this should get sorted through the system, and I should be able to find this 
in the chests over there. I'll just make sure that it's going to the right chests, actually. Okay, so it's going up around there. And it'll go up around there. It won't get sorted into any of these. So it'll carry on through the red, I think. Yep. Which will take it up there along the roof. Back down here and into the overflow chests. Okay, so that will get there eventually. But it's going to take some time to get through there. No worries. I could speed this up with some golden pipes, but do I have any left? No, I don't. And I don't want to make any because gold is pretty rare. Once I get the quarry back up and running, though, gold will be more plentiful. But for the time being, I need to watch what I use. Right, so we got the Electrum ingots going through there. And we have the hardened glass coming into the induction smelter over here. There we go. And right, so hardened glass and Electrum ingots, our operation over here is going pretty smoothly. So what I need to do now is work out how to get liquid redstone. Now, this might be pretty tricky, actually. Let's see. Now, I need a liquid transposer to get molten redstone. But how do I get molten redstone with the transposer? What do I put into it? I don't know. Let's see. Transposer. Okay, so that's a liquid transposer, and it's quite cheap to make. It's pretty much the same as um, the induction smelter, so I can make that pretty quick. There we go, liquid transposer. Oh yeah, just the thing. Right, now how do we make the, the redstone into molten redstone? I don't know. Do we just put redstone inside this thing and it turns it into liquid? And also, we'll, we'll have to pipe the liquid out of the transposer into the pipes, won't we, right? Surely. Let's take a look. Aha, so it looks like I need a magma crucible. Magma crucible. That's exactly what I need to make my, my redstone molten. And this is pretty simple to make as well. I think I have some nether brick lying around in building materials. Now, I know it's dark, but I should have enough lights around the farm to keep myself quite safe while I'm building this. Now, this should be it with the redstone coil as well. Oh, there we go, magma crucible. Now, again, I'll need power for this, but I can just keep using these sterling engines as a makeshift kind of go-between because once I've got all this operation up and running, I can start turning out I can start churning out actual redstone conduits that I can use to power everything on the farm. And I might need a bigger tool shed because at the moment this thing's a bit small for all these liquid transposers and magma crucibles that we're putting in. Now we need to put down the magma crucible, which will then send stuff out the red. Now we want to send it directly into the, uh, the liquid transposer. So what I think I can do is put it right next to it like that and it'll automatically, without pipes, feed the liquid redstone into this device. Right, mate, let's go and get this sorted out. Now, I want to make the uh, engine face upwards like that. Perfect. And now I can... Can I put... I don't think I can put levers on fences, so I might have to replace these, these fences temporarily with, I think, cherry wood. I've got some cherry wood in my pack. Just enough. And that doesn't look too bad. It looks a bit weird, but this is just like a makeshift setup anyway. Now, I'll need another lever. This one will do. Thank you very much. And I'll just put these bad boys right here. These are rude dudes. There we go. Now I'll load up these engines with a bit of coal. Kablam. And kablam. Right, so the power's chugging away through those. Now let's see if this works. I hope it does. Now this should transfer the redstone from this into this. Now has it got power? Are we seeing power come through? Yes, the power's going up. We just need to get enough in here for it to start ticking into a, into a block of fuel. So come on, wait for the engines to heat up. The mega joules are going up, up and up and up. Okay, fantastic. We've got the first bit of energy in there, translating into the redstone. Oh yeah, so the redstone's becoming liquid now. We're sucking all, all, of the li all of the liquid out of the redstone. And is it going directly into the transposer? Now let's check here to see if any has been deposited. Oh yeah, yeah, look, redstone has been deposited. So what I need to do now is work out what I need to put into this blue and into this red. I think if I put the, the conduit into here, the, the filled conduit co goes into the red square. Right, so let's go and make ourselves some conduit to get that show on the road. 
Oh, you know what? I'm not wearing my overalls today. I'm still wearing my spaceman suit. Because while well, the server's been a bit dodgy recently, you may have noticed that I haven't been making so many Feed the World videos. And that's because the server's kind of a bit shaky at the moment. It's a bit up and down. But it will be solved. And so what I'm doing is I'm sticking with this skin because if I log out, well, I might not be able to log back in. And that's a bit of a worry. And you know what? The kind of, the space suit, I kind of like it. You know, it's kind of snug. Fits me kind of well. And it makes me feel a bit more professional and a bit more scientific. And today we'll be getting really technical. So I think it actually suits me a bit. Okay, so I need to make some redstone conduits. And I make redstone conduits with some of the things that I've already got. So conduits. Right, so I've got everything I need for my redstone conduit. Let's make some. Hardened glass. Electrum ingots. Ah, oh, yeah. And already we've got 24 energy conduits. Now, once we get the quarry up and running, and once we get everything sorted, we can get many more empty conduits. But for the time being, this should do. Right, the moment of truth. Now, can I actually make redstone energy conduits? It's been quite a mission, quite an episode. We spent a whole episode doing this, but it's worth it because it means in future we'll be able to run the quarry and the brewery at the same time, which is big news. Oh, whoops, I'm facing the wrong way now. Oh no, what have I done? Are we still getting liquid into here? I don't know. Oh, crumbs. I made a boo-boo there. There we go, that's facing the right way now, I think. Right, so let's put the redstone energy conduit in here and see if it fills up with redstone. Oh, it's going! Oh yes, we're making redstone energy conduits! Oh, sweet! Fantastic. Well, we've only made two so far, but we are on, on the case. We are, are, are progressing towards making plenty of redstone conduits. So what I'll do is I'll fill this up with more redstone, get some more empty conduits, make some more pipes, get this all hooked up and automated, and maybe next episode we can get on to making either the milk facility or getting the quarry up and running so we can get another potato field, another potato multi-farm. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, I've been Stjint, and this has been Feed the World. This episode, we got redstone energy conduits mastered and conquered. We've got our own power set up now. It means going forwards, we can make our own kind of power set up without having to rely on Duncan or the Honeydew Corporation for any more of those redstone energy conduits, which basically frees me up to do what I want on the farm without having to trade for those vital technical parts. So hit like and favorite and subscribe. And next episode, we'll try and crack on with building the quarry, getting that up and running again so we can get more materials and more minerals. And then we can make the multi farm, which is going to get us loads of potatoes so we can make all kinds of extra awesome cool foods for the Shindig. So hit like and favorite and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.